Hey guys, Edward Scissorhands Anthony here. Uh, today we're going to continue working on the turtle, so it is turtle time. I'm going to start here in the turtle position. My right hand's going to come underneath, okay, and I'm going to use this hand to control his wrist. I am also going to use this hand to free up the lapel. I'm going to pull this lapel down. My hand is going to reach in front of China's neck, and I'm going to grab thumb in to the collar. I'm going to grab a little loose just because I don't want to put him unconscious as I'm talking. Okay, so I'm here, thumb in, and I feed with my hand. My right hand comes and it grabs his sleeve. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this sleeve towards me as I drive my way into China, collapsing him onto his shoulder. So I'm pulling this in and pushing like this. Okay, now I want to slide down China's back. All right, what I tell my students this is a little strange. I say, I want you to slide down the back like an otter. Why an otter, you ask? Have you ever been to the zoo and seen how the otters go down the slide? To me, it's the most wonderful thing ever, right? Just seeing them just effortlessly slide down the slide, playing with their little otter friends. Okay, so I say slide down the back like an otter. So I'm here, I slide down the back like an otter, and my body weight goes onto his head. Now I'm going to walk my feet like a clock. One, two, three. Three, and get the tap. There's the clock choke, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, slide down the back like an otter. Cowabunga!